So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the end off. Not right now. Come back for that. We're going to cut the end off and uh, we're going to run. We're going to put a couple holes in this cage down low. Down one down in here. Mm -hmm. One over here and run this cable hidden in the cage. Because Rugged makes it an end that you can pop on, huh? They do. Yep. I got those ordered for you today. We need a little bit, a little bit of anti-seas on this or something. So this... This is a stainless steel little screw, and it screws into aluminum. Mm -hmm. And those combinations, I don't know if you've ever worked with them. Not the best. Sometimes they, they, they'll gall the threads, and so I put a little bit of anti-seize on it because it was binding up already, and I don't want to tear this thing up. But not yet, yeah. Yeah, not yet. So just to show you, it's going to go right here. Then we'll, throw the, we'll actually throw the antenna on it. Okay. So that you can see it once it's in place. All right. And then, uh... Are you saying you want this car to look clean? Yeah. Yeah. Right. What about the um, longer uh, level? You know, over there? The yellow or the white one? I don't know. I don't know. Here, hold that. Let me get one more thing. Because I'm nervous. Now he said it's my fault. So let me try one more thing just to see. Figured it out. <laughs> Yeah, so Brady just figured it out. Okay, thanks for giving me credit, but that's not true. You all know Realistically, that. we're trying to center the antenna to this V, right? Right. So all we have to do is put the antenna on. And see if it's in the V? And center it to the V. Your mom's in the V. Once we've centered to the V, we can tighten it up. So and then here's what's going to happen. I'm going to drill a hole as far as I can underneath. Up right. Right here. I run and the wire. The wire's going to go up in there. It's going to come along. It's going to pop out over here. At the base of this, and you won't even see it, and it's going to run down behind And then, then you'll put the ends on the other side, okay, to plug in. Scores! We'll All put right. the part number to that once we have it. All right. Uh, and what's next, Project Master? Okay, so one thing this is going to get, actually, and we might do that right now. We're going to put a piece of rubber. I feel like it moves to the right a little bit. Anyway, we're we'll going to put it. a piece of rubber uh, on the antenna, so when it bounces around, it doesn't beat up this cage, right? Right. When it gets plowed into bushes and trees and whatnot, it yeah. doesn't go scratch. All right. Um, I want you to say what you just now said. Okay. I said put electrical tape on it, and I thought you were going to give me props, and you said because you said you triggered me into the the good idea. You said the good idea. Okay. <laughs> Which is what? Okay. Some layers of heat shrink tubing. We're going to do it right now. But basically, I'm taking credit for it because had I not said electrical tape. Yeah. That's what made me think of it. Boom! Win. That's how we work. Teamwork. Look at that's precise. That is some. Is we're classy. actually <laughs> instead of trying to get the um, heat shrink tubing because that's what we're going to use over this ball. Right. This uh, is an antenna slide over this part. Right. Right. Okay. So here's what we can do because we did that. So we're going to put a few layers. Just I don't know because we can. I guess. We don't want the antenna. We're just going to like plan for the worst. See where's our notch right there. Yeah. Up here, so. So actually, see what we're going to do, we'll just drop this back in and we'll go fit it. Okay. And then, okay, that to me looks. Okay, I can't hit there. And I'll go push Oops. it up. Is that enough? Yep. That's enough. Yep. On one, it's perfect. Uh, yep, perfect. <gasps> and right. it doesn't even look bad. God, I'm That's so glad I'm I came up with this idea. All right, let's melt that thing on right there. Okay. With. So, um, it's nifty to have some cool tools in your garage, or your shop. Look at that. Right. You know, I didn't... Okay, don't touch it, baby. You always do that. Pretty good. We're going to put another layer on just, just for extra protection. But it's looking good. This was Dean's idea, by the way. Dean Hoover, Hoover it's, a, it's a Hoover maneuver, folks would say. Yeah. Is it good? Yep, it's great, actually. Not just good. It's totally freaking great. Awesome. So... I'm probably maybe two more layers over this and should be fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. So that's that. Let's do it. Next on the list, in our hurried rush of uh, prep, preppiness, we only have, what's today? Today's the 28th. Three. Three to four. Fifteen. I don't know. Fifteen days? Something. Yeah. I don't know. So, okay. Here's the thing. Right now, we need to decide which side we're putting this on, and we need to make a solid decision because once we clamp this down, it might make some marks, and I don't want to make I them. I better not reason. make marks. So we need to make a decision. Where's it going? We got to come back to you guys. After much deliberation, this is what we've decided. Um, we've decided that for safety's sake, we're going to add two fire extinguishers <laughs> because look how unbalanced that is. It looks like it's just going to warrant. 
So OCD says we gotta put another one on this side and we got ideas for it, right? That's right. I think it's an awesome idea. Looks like we got torpedoes. Uh, I'm gonna see if these, we're gonna at least do a temporary. Oh yeah, that's good. That's definitely good. Don't yeah. freaking knock it down. Watch, you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna bonk the car, things gonna go flying, handle's gonna hit, fire stuff. Everywhere. So we're ordering another one, we're gonna have one on each side. Yes. We should order black ones. Do they have them? I'll check right now, I gotta go. Okay. We'll Running out of steam? I am. Yeah, I'm done. I'm tired. Uh, we've but, still got a lot to do on this car, but we have two more weekends. Yeah. Right? Yep. This weekend two. coming up in two days and yeah. next weekend. Okay. So right now it's really ugly because, you know, it's white on the end. The paint didn't come out right. We're going to redo the paint. Uh, these clamps are no bueno. I don't know. We're, We're going to figure out some stuff. But yeah, it's, uh, I mean, that thing's rock solid. But you know so, where it's going, two of them. Yeah, and you can pull it right off, so. Yeah, I mean. This is where you insert that Beavis and Butthead clip where he goes, fire, fire. You know what I mean? Right. Anyways, so we got those decided. We're going to mount those, which the antenna right through the center. It's going to be beautiful. It's the holy trinity of things yep, you need. Yeah. You've got communications and fire safety. Um, we got, we found out that uh, we got to do some adjusting on the um, spare tire mount. But you're going to yep. sleeve it and make it work. Yeah. Nothing can ever just be easy because that's not how we like it. Nope. Well, we do like it, but um, we're going to yeah. get that prep. we got tools. you got a bunch of tools. We'll talk about what you've got next time. Yep. That's a, a bunch of tools, a bunch of belts. A box of belts. Uh, one of those belts is not ours. Ours we have. So basically, we're going to have two extra belts, one brand new, two uh, two brand new belts extra beside, besides what's on the car. For good old trip and the Fabrice. We have an axle. I'm trying desperately to get an axle for the Razor. It should be hard that hard to come across, but for some reason, we can't... Uh, Communication breakdown. We're gonna uh, what else? I mean, I don't know. I think There's I will. There's stuff to do. Tools, parts, ball joint we got to get from the trailer. Ball joint I got to get for this. Right. All right, so in part one of uh, prepping for an epic adventure. Yeah. Me and Brandy talked about uh, spare tire mount. Uh, we kind of showed you. We don't, here's the thing, we don't have a spare tire right now, so here's what we're doing. We, bought, we, have, to pull, we have to pull a tire and wheel off. Anyway, I think we're going to get a wheel and tire tomorrow. Anyway, uh, what we did is we cut, I think we showed you we cut that thing in half. Brand new tire uh, carrier mount. And we went out and got that still from Scott. You guys have seen Scott before. You haven't met Ron before. There's Ron right there. Ron's got, out Ron's got a new car coming. So what we're really doing is exactly what I said, prepping. We pulled the radio out so we could tidy up the wiring. We're putting together uh, this uh, spare tire mount. Uh, we're gonna weld up the best we can. It's gonna stay together. We moved the antenna. I don't know if we showed you that. We still gotta finish that up. We're gonna drill a hole. We're waiting on some ends to show up from Rugged uh, for the coax cable. That's what's going down. I love it on a Saturday when we go to do a video and every long guy up and down the street shows up at the same time. You know, they've been working on that front yard for two hours. I, I don't doubt it. So Ron, you haven't met Ron, you know Dean, of course. Uh, and look at these guys, look at these guys. We ain't got money like Dean, so we're gonna go weld this thing together the best we can. I, I said put the self tappers in it. <laughs> self tappers, you're done, then it's forever adjustable. He's kidding. He's you see my car? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a couple spots. Yeah, most of it's actually really dialed, but there's a, there's a couple spots, kind of like me, you know. Like, look at these dome lights. Five dollars at Harbor Freight. They have batteries, and then I don't have to worry about wiring them. They're light. So anyway, this is Ron, like we talked about. Ron just helped Sup. us out. So we're getting this dialed in. Now we're gonna make him. We're gonna make him improve his welding skills. I'll do it, I think dude. we should do it. Yeah. We're gonna tack it. Paint it. I mean, we're going to tack it, weld it, paint it. We're not even going to grind it out. We'll yeah, be back in 2.2. Exactly. Oh, yeah. What do we got? That thing. And we travel, so if you guys pay for DM and travel right, right. expenses, yeah, yeah. we'll tack your shit yeah. up. And Jerron's a stripper if you need any of that going on for you. So <sighs> That's the next video. Wrong <laughs> channel, fool. <laughs> anyway, this is what we got. We're going to pull this off. We're going to weld it up. We're going to paint it. And I think it's good. What do you think, Danny? Good. It's off. It's off? Nail it. Yeah. Perfect. Quick, come back here. Well, it's loose right It's not bolted. It's not bolted here. <laughs> so, we're taking a little bit, a little break from uh, preparing for the epic fucking adventure in the desert. And, uh, but, oh, look at this. Real quick, we'll look at this before we take a break. So, the tire's standing up there. 
Dean did a Dean did a bang up well job. He did a bang up well job. Uh, we threw some paint on it. We're letting it dry, not for long, because we don't screw around. And this is helmets and radio gear here. Okay, so Ron just Ron's got Christmas in uh, whatever month it is, January. Thank you. Yeah, look at this. This is rugged radio stuff. Yep. Hey, look at that. Oh, oh yeah. Just, they, had, they, had, they had to send the extra big boxes. Those are some big melons. <laughs> and Debbie's little. Hey, you know what they say? Guy with big yeah, helmet's got big like shoes. That's right. <laughs> Probably. No, I got you, And the thing is, Debbie's no, little. She little until you measure that freaking mug of hers. Yeah. The tape measure just kept on going. That looks small. That's not you. I ain't fitting on your head. That's not the bolt, all the. That is not the right helmet. That's not it. No. Nope. For a kid. Because we uh we asked for qualifiers, right? Yep. Yeah, not the right helmet. All right. So let me talk to the. That's not a Amanda. Well, that's a side mount. Hold on. Bit of a mishap on the helmet, so we're gonna talk to him about that. That happens. Uh, there was a cross in the communications. But look at this. Oh, this is the stuff. Oh man. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna I don't, put a I'm shout out to whoever's credit card we use. <laughs> I'm sure you're insured. Yeah. yeah. We got six nine six. We got an antenna. We got the digital radio. We got a coat. We got the cable. So we gotta do it in dandy style. We got an active filter. That's right. Boom. All right. Well, anyway, that was a side note. We're gonna get this spare tire mounted up, and we'll do that. It's a little loud, can you not do it so loud? Yep. He's trying to film. <laughs> but Ron did all the, he did the hard labor of the, the fabrication. I'm moral, I'm moral support here. It's kind of like painting the car, you know, all the prep work, you know? Yeah. But then the painter gets all the glory. So. Exactly, yeah, 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 all right. Look at that. It, it looks pretty good. I mean, it'll do the job. It's groovy. It will do the job. We rarely run a spare tire. So, I don't know, some people, being YouTube, being YouTubers, being YouTube viewers, the guys that you are, some of you, will definitely point out, <laughs> well, you'll definitely point out that uh, we can't get the spare tire off, right? But we are not a race team, so if we get a flat tire, we'll pull over, we'll take these bolts out, we'll take the whole thing off, and then we're good to go. Chances of us ever using a spare, pretty slim. By having it with you, it's a good idea. Well, yeah. Which tire you? All right. Today was a bit of a hard day to record. We had a lot going on. We were had some other stuff going on. We had a lot of people here. Rob, it's it's later in the evening now. Rob's over here helping us. Uh, we're de-stickering the car. So you know, you get one of these cars, and thirty thousand other people get one just like it, and then pretty soon you're driving around, and everybody's got the same car. It seems like. So here's the problem we faced. The goal was to do. Yeah. Cage, uh, seats, stuff like that, and we were gonna hold off on the seats. You know, you know why? Tell it's money. It's called yeah. money. Call money. Here's the problem. Uh, we had an idea. Dean had an idea actually Would to cross the belts. Yeah, which is a great idea. But the problem is, even crossing the belts. Watch. Can you reach up there and hold? Yeah. That right there. Even crossing the belts, you can see. It just doesn't work out. So they're gonna be, you're gonna be yanking on constantly when yeah. you're riding and adjusting, and that's not comfortable. So, here's the here. Okay, let him go to her. So they do sell. Lean forward a little bit. They sell a product that goes in here. You can cut that out. Um, I think we're as good as we're gonna get for right now, and that's the end of this one. That's the end of this. That's video. the end. That's done.